hello beautiful people you're welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hello and welcome so in this video i will show you how to make the zara headband i call it the zara headband because this concept is like the zara cap okay so i would like you to please watch this video to the end so you understand every bit of it so it's an headband with the rose design the materials i used are my fabric i'm using the stretchy taffeta or raw silk and I have Marco. This Marco is sold by those who sell bags and shoe making materials. I also have this soft foam. It's about half inch width. You could use the quarter inch foam. Okay. You can as well get this from those who sell bags and shoe making materials. I have my scissors, measuring tape, needle, and matching color of thread. So for this design, we have the band, the headband area, and the design. Okay. So I'm going to be cutting out the pieces for the whole project right now. The first one you're seeing is for the headband itself and it measures about 22 inches I'm working with my own head circumference by 7 inches exactly 22 inches by 7 inches okay I keep that aside and I have my Marco my Marco is about 18 inches length 18 inches length by 2.5 inches width okay so i'm going to just keep that aside then the third fabric or the third piece is the for the design for the rose design and the measurement is 35 inches by 8 inches 35 inches length by 8 inches width now i have my soft foam this is the half inch width foam okay and it measures 31 inches length by 7 inches width 31 inches length by 7 inches width now i am back to the first piece that i cut out which is for the headband itself and the width i have is about 6.5 inches i later reduced it to, to 6 inches okay i place it with the right side facing up and i fold it into two and i stitch by half an inch okay this i'll just fold in half and I'm going to stitch from one end to the other end okay so having done that um I just went ahead to trim off the excess seam allowance there before we turned the right side out So I've turned the right side of the piece of fabric out and I'm just trying to insert my marco inside. I folded the marco into two halfway and I just pushed it into the loop piece of fabric we have like this. Remember that the piece of fabric is longer than the marco so you just push it down to where you feel it should be staying. It should be staying at the center of the piece of fabric. Okay, so we have extra allowance on both sides of the piece of fabric. So I just press it down like that and to open it up or to just uh, make it fit into the loop well and as you can see it's a perfect fit the edge is smooth and it fit in it's sitting there we don't have any excesses on the sides that's what I mean so we have this extra allowance like that we have this extra allowance on both sides about three inches on one side three inches on the other side now I'm going to fold each of the end in by half an inch i'll fold it in to hide the rough edges and i'll stitch okay i just fold it in like that by half an inch and i'll stitch i'll repeat the same on the other side or the other end like this now we have this part as the wrong side that's the part we have our stitch it's now going to be serving as the wrong side of the piece and then i measured to see what i have left after folding in the edges remember we started with 22 inches so it has reduced to 21 inches okay after we stitch again by the time we fold into two and stitch it will still reduce and that is for us to have a perfect fit on the head you know the part of the head this will be sitting may not be the exact 
head circumference of yours okay so it will still reduce and since we are using a stretchy fabric so i folded it in half and i stitch as you can see and i spread my extra allowance and i stitch on the two sides like this so this is what i have and i'm going to turn the right side of the headband out okay and then we'll move on to make the design now for the design i have my piece of fabric that i cut out uh, at the beginning of this video and i have my foam so the length is 35 inches by 8 inches for the fabric and the foam is 31 inches by 7 inches the foam has to be shorter in length and in width shorter than the fabric itself okay so that you don't have your foam showing on the outside after you're done now i'm going to fold in half as you can see and i will sew loose stitches from one end to the other end like this you just start from that end like this and follow like in form of a curve okay like this and i'll just do that to the other end if you are not following me yet on my social media and deals please follow me on them i'm on facebook and instagram at dolly crafties I'm on Pinterest at Dolly B Crafties. And if you're here to join this family, please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification. There's a bell beside the subscribe button down this video. Okay, just click on it so you get notified whenever I upload new videos on this channel. So I'll go ahead and sew my loose stitches like that to the very end of this space. And then we proceed. I've sewn my loose stitches like that to the other end and I'm going to just pull the thread to gather it up before that I just decided to trim off the excess fabric I have there uh, on the other side as well and I went ahead to pull the thread to gather it up like this. So all I did was to just pull the thread to gather it up and that way it forms the rows and I used my needle and thread to tack properly and I am placing it on the headband itself that's on the part that we had the joining okay we used that to cover that part okay and I went ahead to tack properly and neatly at this point we have come to the end of today's video you can decide to embellish to your taste like I always say and this can be placed at the front at uh, the back or away from the forehead okay just like you saw uh, on the thumbnail of this video please let me like and share this video thank you so much for watching i will see you all in our next video bye